All right, so this product review is brought to you, of course, by Headlines Barbershop. When Tampa, download the app. So this is it, man. This is the face-off. This is, you know, the face-off from, in my opinion, the top cordless trimmers in the market. The Andy Slimline Pro. Then you have the Andy Slimline Pro LIs. And the newest of the bunch, the War Cordless Detailers. And, you know, in this, this product review, this is a face-off, man. I've been using these trimmers for a couple months now. So, I have some experience with them. And it's not going to be anything technical. I'm just going to get down to the nitty-gritty. Now, these are, these are premium-looking trimmers right here. They got the chrome look, the chrome finish. They look nice. You know, your, your clients, will, they'll be like, man, what are those? And then you have the wall detailers. Really good build. And what was being innovative with this? They wanted you to be able to go from zero gap to opening up the blade a little bit so you can, you know, edge up the or something. I thought that was a, that was dope that they were wanting to be innovative. Now these are the cheapest out of the three, the most affordable, but they're built really, really good. Like they're, they're it's a solid build. It feels good in the hand. Now let's get right down to it. You can see the Slimline Pros are the smallest. You got the Slimline Allies, which are a little bit longer, a little bit taller. And then the wall details are like behemoths, man. They're like two Slimline Pros combined. I didn't like that. Like, I felt like wall details, I was, I was definitely excited about them. And they kind of dropped the ball there. Now, I'm showing you guys the, the on and off switches. You saw in the LIs, that's not how this on and on switch came. I have two LIs, and on both of them, the, the switch broke. Come on, Andy's. These are like $80 trimmers. And then the dock that comes with the LIs are the worst out of the three. For the price, you would think it'd be the best out of the three. The Slimline Pros have a better dock. And then the wall colors detailers, they have the best dock. And the reason why the allies have the worst dock is a cheap, flimsy thing. You gotta like push in the allies so that they charge because the power source has to go inside of the bottom. It has to insert the bottom hole of the, the slimline allies. Whereas the pros and the details, as soon as the, the you know the little metal parts on the side of the pros or on the bottom of the detailers, as soon as they touch the bottom of the dock. It starts charging. You don't have to push it in. But out of the three docks, the details they did the best, man. They you know they put in the build quality of the wall details were the best. But when you look at how how good they trim, how good they edge up, and you look at the size, they're in last place. They're the worst. The, the build quality was there, but man, why are they so big? And how come they don't hit like the regular details? They're definitely in last place. I, I you'll notice in my haircut tutorials, I stick with either the pros or the the pro allies. I like both of them. It's kind of a I'm torn in between the two because the regular pros they're built better. They're a little bit small, but they feel better in the hand, and they have a little weight to them because of the battery, I guess. With the allies. They feel cheaper, even though they look nicer. The button always breaks. They feel light as a feather, which some people like, some people don't. And then the dock is terrible. But they have the lithium-ion battery that's going to last you longer. Right? The life of it is going to last you longer. They both hold a good charge time. But if you want you know, long-term trimmers, they're going to last you longer. They both use the same blade. They both hit. Once you break them in, they hit real good. And I mean, they're my go-to trimmers right now. So, you know, I definitely recommend either or. If price is, is something that you you can consider it about, go with the Sunline Pros. You, you can't you can't really you can't really uh, go wrong with that. So I hope this this review helps. If it did, I'm trying to drop content at least once a week, if not more. Definitely subscribe, hit the notification button, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all support. See y'all in the next video.